welcome back to the channel. A belated happy Valentine to all of you. Hope you receive some sweet um, gestures of love. It's uh, the heart stay anyway. Have a day wherever it was possible and a cozy dinner or meal at home. Chocolates, flowers, and bouquets. I hope you got it, whatever you wish for. A big kiss, which I got from my husband. <laughs> I have already a garden, so I don't need a bouquet. <laughs> anyway, um, I did get um, some new plants, bulbs for the summer. The Inca Lilia, I have already uh, planted in little pots because they have already begun to grow in their packs. And also included in this video are the clips of what we have done with the, with the lots of snow after the snowstorm. It's not shoveling about the pads, it's uh, something creative. We built an igloo. An igloo. Actually, uh, it looks like a cave. It's not like the igloo that we see in the books. Um, I couldn't do that in bricks of ice. Anyway, we did that. And also um, included is the days after that snowstorm where the sun was shining, it was extreme cold. We had a temperature of minus 20 degrees. It was beautiful, it was very cold, but it is, I guess, the most beautiful winter scenery I have experienced here in the garden, where there were lots of crystals to see. I will show you that, and I hope you enjoy it. And also, um, yeah, this week, we will be expecting temperatures up to 17 degrees. So it, was, it is a really big wave from extreme cold and in few days we will be having like spring weather. Perhaps we will be grilling already. Anyway, um, yeah, so I have observed in my previous years, the weather here in Germany is always a wave. So there's cold temperatures, there is warm temperatures. It never is consistent like in the Philippines where you have 25 degrees at night and 35 degrees in the day, almost just ranging like that. But with us, before the range was like this, and now it is like this. So imagine a 40 degree change. It is quite um, interesting, quite uh, um, something to think of, yeah. It, quite different, quite unique now that the range are so high. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's about uh, it's both a gardening activity and the fun we had in snow after the snowstorm. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Hello, we have new bulbs that is flowers for the summer, and I would like to show you that actually I'm going to plant this today. And these are the Incalilia. So they flower like this. Um, Incalilia grows uh, flowers in July and August. It grows up to a hundred meet a hundred hundred centimeter long, and they have this vibrant, they have very vibrant orange yellow flowers. That would look good in summer when the sun is very uh, strong. And we have here, how many plants do I have? I have here five, a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. So five, eight. Eight plants that I will be potting right after this vlog. And this one is li uh, lilies. So we have here also star gazer lilies. Oh, they look nice and they are very fragrant. Sometimes it's overwhelming. <laughs> I tried to put one flower in our bathroom and it was overwhelming the scent. And I had to take it out <laughs> because <laughs> I couldn't uh, handle it anymore. But it's a very nice plant also. And we have here like one, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six plants. Okay, I'll put it on the side. And we also have, ah, that is where the dirt is coming from. This is cold hack lilian. Hack, hack lilia. Spider lily. 
So this is the flower. Oh, nice. I love white and green because it's so pure. Um, so, spider lily we have also. And then we have here the pineapple plant. Pineapple plant. Ananas plant. That is the ananas plant. And then we have also here Mumbritian or the Crocosmia, which also flowers from July to October. These are the dainty ones. I think I already featured the flower also uh, in one of my video was it June or July. It was there, but the, those were the large ones, and these are the small ones. And what do I have? Another ananas plant. Ah, this one is also nice. This is this is also a spider lily in different color. <laughs> That's why I love it. The, the first one I showed you was white and green, and this was this is in pink and lila combination flowers also from july to september so those are the flowers for summer that we plan to have in the garden aside from the existing ones these are the addition to the colors in the garden and what do i have here i see something here now we have here oh that is an anemone anemone it's in white it flowers from june 6 to june july june to july it also looks nice with their white flowers and so i have a lot of arborician i have two anemone and i have the spider lily in different color white and pink and the inca lily look look this is it it has already actually begun to grow the stems are here the white ones and the roots tubers are here so now i want to plant it slowly into the pot to so place it here above and then cover it slowly with soil
it's Valentine's Day and we woke up to minus 18 degrees and it's very cold and well packed and this is how beautiful it is it is winter romantic as my husband said and everything is nice last night there was a bit fog and then the trees are all covered with ice look at that that is so nice i'm using my phone because the other camera is just taking <laughs> a video also of the environment and it just really looks nice it is the best time we had a bad <laughs> a bad um time with the snow when it, there was a lot of wind and there was a lot of work to do but now the beauty has come the magic has come and the romance has come Okay guys, so we are here at the back going into the uh, fields and another view that's the almond tree that looks so nice and outside look at that outside so that's our yucca plant that we we wrapped but it looks bad so perhaps we have to cut it down to the soil and let it grow again this is the hey 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 how do you call this thing what vice dorn that's the vice dorn and it also look fantastic and behind is the walnut tree uh, there that's the walnut tree and that's it just absolutely majestic <laughs> This will be the last part. My feet are freezing and I'm here at where the Japanese Blumenhart Regal is. And just one last look, the other side of the garden. It is so splendid. 